Hi everyone, James here again. I've had a few requests for what do I do for a warm up. Um, maybe something others might like to try um, either before games or training. So here I've recorded what I might typically do. So I'd start off with just some very gentle movements, uh, just getting my feet and body used to rotating and, and making sure I've got good grip on the ground with my skate and wheel combo. Um, after I'm done that, uh, I will have done an off, off pitch warm up, but I'll go through that some other time. Then go into that, but but emphasising the body rotation and the head rotation, uh, and looking to do some more speed and with good stick discipline. Um, maybe you'll put this into a box format, uh, mimicking maybe what might happen on a penalty kill. Uh, so getting towards the points from the post and then back again. Um, what might I do after that? Uh, well, a similar thing, but this time going from the post uh, out to the centre. If like there's been a centering pass uh, outside of my uh, my stick check region, uh, so just looking to get good depth in a controlled way uh, and just practicing that before going to use it in a game. You don't want to do that and then come out and slip over because uh, you weren't sure if that area of the, of the tiles uh, was in good condition or not. So it should be sufficiently warm to, to, to warrant stretching at this stage. Um, I'm fairly flexible for my stretching routine uh, and I don't mean that my body's flexible, I just mean <laughs> I don't mind mixing it up. Um, but you see, I'll generally uh, rotate around different groin stretches. Here, so that was a groin stretch previously. Here's some hip flexor stretches. Uh, you move your arm up, you exaggerate the stretch. Um, some calf stretches and then some glute stretches. Um, important to mention that generally uh, or typically in, in training and, and maybe even games, I'll be doing a short bursts of these throughout the session, uh, not just at the beginning uh, and not just at the end. Um, I feel that doing that is the best way for me to make sure that uh, I don't injure myself and that I have good flexibility uh, or at least maintain my flexibility in sessions, especially if, uh, if you get a little cold between drills. But uh, I would expect my goalies uh, to be doing drills even when the team isn't doing drills. Uh, I might practice my shuffles. Um, it gets my mind into thinking, hey, I can actually do these. And so if a point in the game or training uh, it would be desirable that I use this and I'd have a good chance of stopping it, then um, just by rehearsing it effectively in the warm-up, um, I feel it gives me a better chance of, of actually using it when I need to. And I might do some aggressive coming out and coming back, uh, just getting used to being hesitant uh, and then having that good speed, that Lamborghini motor we've discussed previously. Then we get to some shots. Um, I'll generally have a trusted shooter who uh, who I know can shoot where they need to, uh, and take glove shots. Um, okay, there's no uh, <laughs> there's no ball or puck here, um, but what I'm trying to show or, or trying to exaggerate is 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 keeping an eye on the puck or ball all the way into the gloves. Uh, so there it was on the glove, and now it's on the blocker. Um, even trying to glove and blocker shots in front of the leg pads, you know, because you have much more control of your hands than you do uh, with your legs. Um, so make a real effort uh, in, in warm up uh, to see all of these uh, and direct them or retain them appropriately. I then, um, something which I haven't seen many people do, uh, I then work on some retention shots. So just five or six or, or maybe more if you've got more time, shots to the belly region uh, which I then hang on to. Uh, especially in line, uh, the pucks and balls are lighter than ice and more prone to bounce off you. Um, so having some shots in this region I feel means there's less surprises when you get to the game and actually have a shot there. I'll then finish up with a few low shots, uh, directing these appropriately to the corners, uh, getting good stick involvement, and occasionally, if there's a soft one, I'm um, actually trying to caress it or cradle with my stick and then, uh, and then covering it up. Um, so yeah, I hope that's helped for everyone. That's my warm-up, uh, and good luck this season. Thanks very much.